What's up you guys, my name is Ivan Neon and this is Nickelodeon's All-Star Brawl. Got to do some more of the um, arcade mode and um, I guess for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and um, complete like um, the Spongebob universe and just go ahead and choose Sandy on this Sandy. One. And I am actually going to be playing this um, just like all the other characters that I played as, I'm going to start this at the medium difficulty and um yeah let's just get this show on the road sandy versus lucy love all right so looks like right off the bat we're fighting off against lucy loud from the loud house and it seems to me like um we're fighting off against in the junk <laughs> and um Pretty sure you guys already know, 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 know what the junkyard is, the scene. I don't want you jumping like hot grease on a skillet. Welcome to Madame Lucy's Chamber of Fortunes. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, fight! Yeah, in, ca in case you guys are not wondering on um, what this what this stage represents, it represents the all real monsters. So pretty sure I've already explained it um like numerous times. Incredible! If you guys have not actually heard of the I the all real monsters, it's basically like another one of those um, classic um, Nickelodeon cartoons. Be gone. Hurry, Phil. Come on, Sandy. Alright. Alright, I guess I did the, the perfect bar. Whoa! Get down, get down. That was close. Well, that's how I managed to pull that off. Until next time! Alright. What are you doing, Teddy? Yeah, what I'm you. Yeah, yeah, um, that, that, that's, um, that's, um, Teddy, um, he's actually like, um, a, a, a golden poodle, um, which is like a mixed breed of, um, a golden terrier and a poodle, I'm assuming. Alright, enough of that, we're gonna go ahead and, um, I guess... You know what, since Patrick's here, I guess I'll go ahead and face off Sandy against Patrick. Versus Patrick. <laughs> yeah, we want to go ahead and face off against some Patrick. I do believe I've actually um we actually faced off Sandy while I was playing as some Patrick. Supposedly it's like some sort of um, a payback for <laughs> what she's done to him on this one particular episode. May I take your hat, sir? Play nice. <laughs> Three. What kind of a freaking intro is that? One. Go. Also, she's a oh, lady, dude. Oh, what a hit! I wouldn't get too cocky. This is medium mode after all. What? Make your damage. There we go. So I special. Right. Of course, we got the lasso. I wonder what this hat does. Alright. Come on. Get out of here, Patrick. I don't think so. This is my 
Jeez, how hard it is for him just to hit one freaking opponent. Alright. Sandy versus Michelangelo. So it looks like um, we're fighting off against um, Michelangelo. And we're going to be, um, we're going to be fighting off into, um, Cat Dog's world. Or should I say, um, Cat Dog's house. Don't you. Take the name of Texas in vain! This is totally rad! Play nice! Three, two, one! Death. Because one person must need to represent their home state. And since Sandy's from Texas, she's got, she's got to represent her home state. What? I'm sorry, but can somebody explain to me what, what the hell just happened? Alright, Michelangelo. Major damage! Oh! I got you now, dude! Ow! No! I got you now, dude. Son of a- Alright, I'm not quite sure how, how, I'm, how I'm gonna do on this one. Alright, well, at least for Sandy, she actually got, like, um, a two-hit combo. That's gotta hurt. Well, I really kind of wish that um, almost all the characters have like at least uh, a three-hit combo. Not just not just literally freaking S Sandy or Jenny Walkman. Yikes! I feel like Michelangelo should have gotten like a a, a three-hit combo. Now. Come on. Oh, what a hit! No. Oh Incredible! Uh. There we go, freaking finally. At least I managed to get freaking Michelangelo out. Uh. I was still kind of freaking surprised at how I managed to survive that long. Then it, Sandy then again, I've actually um, survived like um, a, a, a lot of times so when I was playing um, Super Smash Brothers. All right, so it seems to me like we're going to be fighting off against Korra, and we're going to be duking it out on one of the Avatar stage. And Teddy, what do you think you're doing? Don't even attempt a Texas saying. I can handle this. Ready? Three, two, one, roll! That really would have screwed me up. Oh, come to think of it, she's actually um in, in, in land. I wonder what why she has her suit on when she's actually on, on land. Kind of looks like an, an, 
a squirrel version of an astronaut. Critical hit! Then again, there is this one episode of where basically SpongeBob and um, the rest of the gang literally made her take take off that suit because apparently, she's... well, I'm not I'm not necessarily a whole quite sure. So we basically started started the whole thing, but there's this episode where. Both Sandy and SpongeBob literally made a bet of what sea creatures. Sea creatures is better than land creatures or land creatures. Outstanding like performance! Freaking fun. But yeah, it was literally kind of freaking surprising that how she literally managed to take off her her suit. But that's most likely because um she was actually getting upset because they were literally laughing. Hysterically. Then again, then again, in Ferris, somewhere, and, um, Sandy ma made her debut. SpongeBob didn't necessarily know um, who Sandy was, and she didn't necessarily know that she actually lived in like some sort of um, um, a land dome of some sort, <laughs> and he did not necessarily realize that. You know, since he's uh, a fish, and. Uh, but whatever. At least it, you, got, you guys get the point. Sandy At least you guys get what I'm trying to say. Leonardo. All right. So next up, we're fighting off against some um, Leonardo. Basically, I'm um, trying to um, get payback for defeating Michelangelo, I guess. And surprisingly, we're fighting off in Glove World. We both brought our karate gear. Like Master Splinter says, a ninja is always prepared. Play nice. Three, two, one. Dance. <laughs> All right. Going up. That hurts. Trying to think of it, since Sandy learns karate, I wonder if it's like a possibility if they would have had. I mean, it's no, nah, it, it's kind, it's kind of ridiculous. I was gonna say that they probably might add like they might as well add like a squirrel to the team, but nah, that's not gonna happen. And wow, I was not paying attention. Ah, no! Get up, get up, no. Come on, no more mistakes! Come on, I, 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 if I lose this, if I lose this, if I lose this, mother fuck. Until next time, bro. I swear, I literally would have freaking lose that match. I would have raged so freaking hard. Literally, I would have raged so hard. Oh my god, this... I, I panic, man. Like, literally, I, 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 I freaking panic. All it takes is just, like, one small freaking opening. One small freaking opening ju just to get rid of from one particular enemy. Alright. Do this. Oh, oh. Powder Sandy toast man. versus Powder Toast Man. Not, not necessarily quite, quite sure if he's probably gonna. 
Well, I'll probably might might um do him like um some other time. I don't know when, but I'll be sure to do him. Oh, uh, thank Vader. I'm wondering when some Hugh gonna, gonna come out. Back in Texas, I wrangled bulls and I wrangled worms. As far as I'm concerned, doing them together just saves rope. Man, this job is too cushy for me. Play nice. Three, two, one. I wouldn't say that considering the fact that you literally had no idea what, what the Alaskan bullworm looks like until now. Ah! It's like freaking crawl out again. Oh, what a hit! So if I literally would have gotten caught, caught, caught up into, into that. What the? Her recovery is like literally almost as freaking bad as some Helga and what the freak? No! Oh my god! I'm literally, I'm literally about to lose it. I'm literally I'm about to freaking lose it, man. I don't know what is going on. All right, it's fine. It's fine. I got I got two legs left. Oh, I can't like turn around for fucking shit. And I and I apologize for swearing, but I really don't care at this point. Ah! Get out! There we go. Freaking finally, man. Pain in the ass. Pain in the freaking ass, man. All right. Sandy versus Jenny. All right. So it looks looks to me like we're fighting off against some Jenny, and ironically, we're not fighting off in um, J Jenny's world th this time. We're actually fighting off in, in the sewer level, basically one of the Team Ninja Turtles stage. Play nice. Three, two, one. Potato sacks, really? I don't think she's making fun of um Texas. She's literally making fun of the whatever, man. Texas hater? Really, Sandy? You could have called her like at least some tater hater. Now this is where things start to get like a little serious. Like I'm really, I'm really, I'm being quiet. Because I'm really, I'm trying to keep my focus. Get, get out. 
game. No, not today. It's done. It's done. Outstanding. Oh my god. You know what? I literally got nothing to freaking say at this point. I literally got nothing else to freaking say at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm completely done. Oh my god. I literally can't believe that. <laughs> like I'm starting to freaking rage. That's most likely because I have no idea what the hell I'm freaking doing. But whatever. It's done. Alright. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys do, then I'm sure you all know the drill by now. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. I really do appreciate that. Leave a comment on the comment section down below. And as always, keep staying awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Ivan Neon signing off. Take care, everybody.